Welcome to this tutorial brought to you by River City Graphics. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can retrieve data from the Twitter API using PHP. So to get started we're going to head over to Twitter and to get to the developing section of Twitter you can come over to the sidebar in the new Twitter layout and go down here and there's a link called developers so we're just going to click that and now we're in the developing section of Twitter so you can see it's dev.twitter.com so once you're on this page you're going to go over to documentation click on that and here you can see all the different documentation um, that the Twitter API offers you and it'll tell you how to do a whole bunch of different things um, and what we're going to be using today is the timeline resources and specifically the statuses slash user timeline so we're going to click on that over here underneath timeline resources and here you can see um, it shows all the different supported formats um, a whole bunch of different variables, uh, different example code, and how you can use it. And you can look through that um, and go even deeper than this tutorial. What we're going to be doing today is we're just going to go up here to um, a little bar and we're going to say twitter.com and we're going to say slash statuses and then slash user underscore timeline and then we're going to have slash and then whatever account on Twitter that you want to pull information from. So today I'm going to be using River City Graphics without the last I because it was too many characters. And then at the very end you're going to put .xml and then um, that's what we're going to be pulling it in from is an XML file. So once you have that you're just going to hit enter and it'll take you to the XML file. So let me try and explain a little bit of what you see here because you can see it just goes on for quite a while, especially if you have um, a lot of tweets. So what you have here is you have your basic um, array from uh, the XML file. And then within that, the first node is called status. And you can see if you go down here, um, there's the closing status. And for everything from here up to this top status, is for one tweet. Basically you can get any of the information within here for one tweet. So you can see that you have within the status you have the created date um, so you can get the time, the date, uh, things like that of when it was tweeted. You can get the ID, you can get the text which is something we're going to be pulling in today. So what it actually says, you can get where it was posted, the source, all kinds of different things and you can even see that you can pull in um, stuff from the user. You can get um, the name, the screen name, you can get their profile picture, you can get all kinds of stuff, you can get their website and how many followers they have and all kinds of stuff. So if you really want to make an application with this, um, you will be able to after um, today's tutorial, you should know how to pull in any of these variables. So um, to get started, we're just going to go over to Dreamweaver. So in Dreamweaver, we're going to start a new PHP file. Right, I'm just going to delete all that out. And to start, we're just going to start with the opening uh, PHP brackets. So I'm just going to do open bracket, question mark, PHP, hit enter a couple times, question mark, closing bracket. So inside of here, the first thing that we need to do is basically get the data um, and assign it to a variable. So we're going to start with a dollar sign, XML data, space equals space, two apostrophes, and a semicolon. Now inside of these apostrophes, we're going to get that link that we typed in. So I'm going to go over to Firefox, grab the link, go back to Dreamweaver, and we're just going to paste that in. So now we'll be able to take and pull in the XML data into this variable. So now that we have that, what we need to do is actually open it up. So we're going to make a new variable called open. So it's going to be dollar sign open, space equals space, and then F open, open parenthesis, close parenthesis, semicolon. Now inside of this, what we're going to do is we're going to open up this data. So I'm going to grab the XML data variable, paste that in, and then we're going to read it. So I'm going to put comma, space, two parentheses, or uh, two apostrophes, sorry. And then inside of that, we're going to type an R. So that's going to allow us to open it, and we're going to read it. So now that it's open, we need to actually take the content from it. So we're going to make another variable, and it's going to be dollar sign, and we're going to call it content. So space equals space, and then it's going to be stream underscore get underscore contents open parenthesis close parenthesis semicolon and then inside of here we're going to get the contents from the variable called open okay so we're just going to paste that in there so the last thing we need to do is we need to just close that so that um, we just need to close off the XML data so we're just going to hit enter and then we're going to say dollar sign and we'll call it um, Actually, we don't even need to make a variable for that. We're just going to say f close, 
open parenthesis, close parenthesis, semicolon, and we're just gonna close off open. So I already have that copied, so we'll just paste that in there. So the last thing I'm gonna do is actually set up the XML file within PHP. So we're just going to take and do dollar sign XML, space equals space, new, space simple, and then XML, okay, simple, XML element, you can see it comes up there. Um, basically I have, I'm just gonna type it out, simple XML element, and we have um, the S is capital, XML is capital, and the E is capital. And then once we have that, we're just gonna have open, close parenthesis, semicolon, and then we're going to be taking and putting the content that we got out inside of that XML element. All right, so now that we have that, um, all of the PHP is done, so now we just need to take and render it out. So we've brought in all the data, now we just need to take and put it somewhere. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take and make a new table. So I'm gonna go to insert and table. And it'll bring up a little box. We'll just make it one row, one column, uh, like 550 pixels, probably good. Um, we can put a border on it, that's fine. Click okay. All right, so now inside of this TD um, tag, we need to take and put in some information. So um, the way that we're going to take and echo out this um, data is we're going to have a PHP bracket. So we're going to say open bracket, question mark, space, and then we're going to press, uh, type in echo. And then we're going to say in order to get the information from the XML element, we're going to first um, target that by saying, so we've already have echo in the space. We're going to say dollar sign XML. And then we're gonna make a little arrow. So we're gonna hit um, the dash key and then an open or a close bracket. And then we're gonna say status. And then I'm just gonna type this out and then I can explain it to you. And then we're gonna open bracket, zero, and then close bracket, and then another arrow. And then we're gonna say text. And then we can press a semicolon, space, question mark, close bracket. All right, so let me explain what we have here. Basically, we have our opening PHP uh, bracket and we have our closing PHP bracket just to show that we want to pull something from the PHP within the HTML. So within that, we're going to be echoing out some data. And we're getting that data from the XML element, which contains everything that we brought in from our stream. So within the XML element, we want to take and get the status. And we just want to get um, the first status, so that's why I have put zero. So if you want to get more than one status, um, you can increase that number. So we're just getting the first status because we don't want it to just go on and on and on. We just want one, uh, at least for this application. And then, so I'm just gonna go back over to Firefox and you can see that it goes to status and then it goes to text. So it's starting with the XML, so it's going within here. Then it's going to status and then it's grabbing the text. So basically within each arrow, um, every time you go from an arrow, you're going in one uh, step. So if we wanted something like um, the created at, we would take and we'd do XML, then we do an arrow to status, and then we do an arrow to created at, and we would be able to get that. So uh, within each, each step, you're going a little bit deeper into the XML file. All right, so um, with that, we can actually take, and I'm just gonna take and put a little bit more, we can go a little bit farther, I'll just show you that created at part. So we're gonna do space at, and then we can just take and copy this once you have one of these, it's really easy to make more. Just paste that out. And so we're within the first status and we just want the created at. So we say created underscore at. And that's how it looks right here. So created underscore at. And we'll be able to bring in that date. Now you might want to format it in a different way. Um, you can look into that. But for right now, it's just going to bring it in just as it shows it right here. Um, all of this information. You might be able to cut it down um, with PHP. You can format it a different way. So we should be good to go. Um, unfortunately, XAMP won't allow me to test this on the local server, so I'm going to have to upload it to the internet um, because it's using Twitter, so that's not a local function. So I'm going to upload that and I'll show you how it works. All right, as you can see, um, I have uploaded the file to my web server and you can see that it has brought in the data from my latest tweet. If we go back over to Twitter, to my profile. You can see my my latest tweet was, I'm going to make a Twitter API tutorial that shows, um, or that explains retrieving data using PHP, which is what I'm doing now. And you can see this brought in all of that text right there. And then it also, we told it to bring in 
the time that I put that. So you can see that it was uh, Monday, January 3rd, and then it brings in the time um, and the date. So um, you might want to reformat that, as I said before. Um, but basically, you can bring in anything from uh, that XML file that you want. You can bring in uh, however many tweets you want. You might want to show uh, more than one. So this is a great way to be able to do that, and you can make some pretty cool applications. So I hope you learned something with this tutorial. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment. Um, if you want to follow me on Twitter, you can at River City Graphics. Um, so thanks for watching, and have a great day.